Good morning, everyone. First, I'd like to pay my respects to our elders of our country and your forefathers and mothers who have now passed on. To my elders, Premier Anna Bly, Minister Peter Garrett, Mayor of Barcourt and Regional Council, Rob Chandler, Pat Oldham, custodian of the Tree of Knowledge, other dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, and little ones. My name is Jerry Fogarty, and I'm a local Aboriginal person. I belong to the Inangai people, to the traditional owners of this land where we now stand. I have been given the privilege and honour today, on this very historic occasion, to give the welcome to our country speech on behalf of my people from the Inangai land. The Inangai land, which includes Bark Alder, covers an area which stretches west from the Great Dividing Range to west in Wheaton, and to Mataburra in the north and south to Tambo. The Inangai people are very proud and protective of their cultural and heritage and special places. But at the same time, we want to share our culture and places with all people. This land is very special to us, and it is appropriate that the tree of knowledge stands on our land. Those shearers who stood on this ghost gun 118 years ago to unite and fight for their working conditions, I believe helped Aboriginal people to obtain the same working rights. Bark Alden has a well-documented history of how well Aboriginal people and white people live and work together as one community. And the Frasers, Thompsons and Dancy families are very proud to be part of that tradition. As traditional owners of this land, we, the Yenangai people, welcome you all here today on this very historic occasion. And enjoy yourselves over this weekend in Barcourt. And please come back and visit us again soon. Thank you. Yay! Wonderful introduction. I'd like now to call on Reverend Peter A for the blessing of the Tree of Knowledge.